So, first of all, can you walk me through this, the Skeet nickname? Is that is that what you prefer over Dennis? Yeah, I grew up uh, grew up in '72, and when I was uh, when I was born, I was red faced, bald headed, and my dad said I looked like Nikita Khrushchev. So my older brother couldn't say Nikita; it just came out Skeeta, Skeeta. So it just kind of stuck since I was a young kid. So, are you coach Skeet to your players, not Coach, coach Owens? Owens? Coach Owens, for most of them, but yeah. So, what does this mean to you? You've been out, like we talked about um, last week, you've been part of the staff for quite some time, and now you're stepping into the head coach role. What does that mean to you? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, Coach Couture, going back to Coach Shaver, they, you know, they, they've done a tremendous job here, a lot of culture, a lot of tradition. You know, I'm just trying to keep that going and at the same time build on that and uh, really set my own brand here. You know, get some young coaches in here, breed some excitement for these young guys, you know, and just, you know, take off from there. Like you said, a lot of success, especially early on when you started here. You went, you guys went to the state title game. What does that do for you, knowing that you've helped bring this team to that level? Yeah. My first year here is from the year we went. So, you know, of course we had some great players, you know, some great coaches, uh, you know, and through those years, it's, you know, you've been to that, you've tasted it, you know, you want to continue those traditions, continue those those runs in the playoff. And we've had a few runs, you know, obviously since the storm, we've been down a little bit, numbers have been down, but we've been gradually building back up and we're trying to get into that next level. Like you said, since the storm hasn't exactly been what you would hope for, it hadn't made the playoffs the last two seasons. So. What is that doing for you? Know that knowing that you've been to the highest level, but you've also struggled over the past couple of years, and you know what both feels like. Yeah, well, like I said, that's the first time in I think eighties, seventies that Barb hasn't gone to the playoffs. It's been two years in a row, uh, four and six the year before, and five and five last year. You know, being that close, a couple of games where we could have been eight and two very easily. Uh, so it puts a bitter taste in your mouth. You know, these kids you know, These kids are working hard, and they know what it takes to get to that next level. How helpful has Coach Kruchera been for you, as not only as a coach, but as a man, and preparing you to take over this program? Well, he's been, you know, he, I just talked to him right before you got here. I mean, he, constant communication, you know, anything I need, he's been willing to, to tell me, you know. Uh, he almost retired three or four years ago, and we had, a, you know, a conversation about, you know, he maybe wanted me to go for it and things like that, so I was preparing myself then. But he's been uh, very helpful, very helpful. What ha- what has it been like for you when we posted it and when we posted the story? Got a lot of reaction. Everyone seemed to be really excited that you're stepping into this role. What does that mean to you? It's been it's been overwhelming. I mean, my phone's been blowing up nonstop non-stop with the phone calls, the texts, the congratulations, and I can't say, you know, thank you enough to those guys. And uh, But in the community, uh, it's been it's been tremendous. You know, it's an honor. Also, I know it's a responsibility to keep the Barb name and to grow the Barb name. It's, you know, it's a, it's a task, but it's one that I'm willing to attack. I assume you've talked to the team. What was your message to them when you took over? I did have a brief meeting. We went on break that next day. Just talked about energy level, how we're going to commit. You know, some things are going to change. Some expectations are going to raise, uh, but you know, it's going to be a high energy type of atmosphere. You know, they'd be willing to step up to that challenge. You went to McNeese. This is probably a little full circle for you. And the head coach at McNeese, his son plays here at Barb. So, what is that like being the head coach in the same city you played football at for yeah. college? It's neat. It's been years now, but uh, we got to coach Tower one year here, great kid, great effort. Uh, it was a joy to coach Tyler. Uh, I have coached, coached Gary, uh, Mr. Goff, Coach Goff a little bit. I haven't got to get it with him. I'm going to get with him a little bit this, this summer. But come full circle, you know, stay back in the community in which I played ball in. Uh, it's, been, it's been nice. How excited are you to get things rolling in this summer? Yeah, ready to go. Checklist is long. You know, we got things to do, people to meet, uh, you know, guys to motivate, practice to get done, all those things. Looking forward to it. Finally, what's kind of your expectations entering year one, entering the first couple seasons, and do you have a motto entering year one? We do. We're going to, you know, my expectations are high. I mean, these kids know, 
and our you know our motto is going to be raise the bar. You know we got to raise our level in all fields, whether that's academics, community, obviously the weight room, the football field. We're going to raise the bar and get these guys you know above and beyond their expectations.